Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F*** it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explain all the details. Right here on F*** It, we will fix it in post podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I thank you for doing so. I'm Kevin Mumphrey once again. This effort, we'll fix it in post. I'm here with my colleagues, Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And Carson Hype Ferguson. Yo. So, technically, the number one streaming platform would be Netflix, right? Yeah. So what do you think, what are people watching on their televisions more than anything? I watch a lot of YouTube. Bingo. Hmm. YouTube is probably the number one thing that people are watching on their television. Right now, I say YouTube makes, yes, Netflix makes up 7% of TV usage and more in yes youtube is at 7.6 so most people most people they watch youtube 7.6 yes a tv usage yes they're saying like netflix is at 7 youtube is at 7.6 okay so now everything else is just broken up and from like uh traditional television um the disney Pluses and all that. They're saying that most people watch on their television streams is YouTube. That's understandable. So, what do you normally watch on YouTube? Mm, the old movies, a lot of cop videos, just crazy stuff. To be honest, with you. <laughs> I watch a lot of those couple videos, the ones that be doing the pranks on each other. I watch a lot of like the uh, Bounty Hunter. Not the not dog the bounty hunter, but that's another dude. That like he's a bounty hunter and he goes and he catches people. I watched the this guy who does uh he's a um, tow truck driver and he be repoing cars. It's funny stuff. I wasn't expecting half of what you said for an answer, but that sounds like stuff I would think Karsten would say. I mean, I watch all that too. Well, not probably not so much the tow truck deal, but I mean, I watch all kinds of stuff like. The auditing channels, you know, the cops, law tube, a lot of like legal stuff. I mean, but I'm I'm the guy that will watch C-SPAN. I just turn on C-SPAN or whatever and be like, you know, drinking something and then like just listening to like hearings and stuff. I mean, I watch all kinds of stuff, um, news, political, world news, but mostly on YouTube, though, like a lot of the law tube stuff, what's going on in the court, court filings. Um the court TV, old episodes of Cops, old episodes of Judge Judy, uh, and then the traditional like entertainment stuff. There's this guy in Memphis who does evictions. I think his name's Otis. Of course, his name Otis. Of course. But he's a he's a uh, you know he serves you the paper of evictions and he goes to the house and he evicts these people and they're like, we didn't get no letter, we didn't know nothing about this. I ain't getting none from the courts. And then he'll show them like, hey, you know, look at this. You got it right here. So how much of what you say you all watch on YouTube probably would not be played on, let's say, um, a traditional network on ABC, Fox. Probably all of what I watch. Not all of it for you, too. A good 95 percent, probably. Now, how much of the stuff you watch probably wouldn't even be played on Netflix? There's a lot of stuff that would be playing on Netflix, though. Like, because, like, um, every year I used to watch, when I had cable anyway, I used to watch the um, hot dog eating competition. And Netflix is having Kobayashi and the, the uh, with Joey Chestnut. They're having them, like, settle the beef. They literally say that in the marketing and advertisement. And I was like, I was like, man, that's so corny. That's so corny. But I might watch it because it's on Netflix. So I. But you know, they're bringing. Isn't WWE got a thing with Netflix now, too? Yeah. They're yes, gonna, yes. They're going to do some live live shows, I think. Yeah. So and next year, WWE Raw 
will, will be, be on, on Netflix. Netflix. Hmm. Yeah. So are they completely taking it off of uh cable? Yes. Wow. But that's uh, now that's another interesting conversation we can have. So because a lot of because the for a streaming service, there is next kind of um thing they're trying to dominate is live television. Because honestly, it's the only reason, like live sporting events, stuff like that. It's kind of one of the main sports is basically keeping network television alive. So obviously, they're trying to take over that. Um, the NBA just finished a deal; like they're going to be leaving TNT and put some of their stuff on Amazon. Mm. So they're going into streaming. Um, they're going to put some of their games on ESPN streaming platform. NBC st- streaming platform, um, NFL. They're also going to do stuff with Amazon. Prime. Oh man, the the the, the NFL. Mm. It's almost trifling how they're going to be splitting up these playoff games. I yeah, mean, they, they've NBA done the Thursday. Splitting they, it up like this they, too. They, they've done the they've done the Thursday night games for a while now, but it's just like, man, it's almost trifling how they're going to be splitting up some of these games. Like, so you you can watch. You know the the what the the noon kickoff on this streaming service for this particular uh, game, but the noon kickoff for this other like game playoff time now. Uh, you you have to watch that on regular TV. Now the two o'clock game, sorry for you, it's on the HBO or you know I'm just making something. Yeah, up. but it's like this one's on HBO, so you got to have like five different streaming platforms to be able to watch all these damn games. I think that. I- I think the NBA is somewhat like that as well. I mean, it's a little more spread it out. So it's not like a, a day like this. So it'll be like um, one platform is going to play, I say, the Christmas games. Um, that's kind of a popular game. The, another platform I have the first week, um, a week of the season. I think an, another platform I have, I say, one round of the playoffs. I think another platform is going to have another round. And NBC is still have the finals. I think I think Netflix is going to have um, Christmas games for NFL. I believe. I didn't think Netflix was part of. There, I know Amazon is. I don't know if Netflix is part. Of. Well, I might I might be just mixing that up then. It's because it may be Amazon because I mean Netflix spent a pretty penny on on wrestling, and I think this is just them putting their toe in. Like I think I, like. The next deal is going to be like 11 years before they renegotiate this stuff. And if it works out for them, and depending on how Netflix is at this point, at that point, they will probably try to get some NFL rights, which I mean, I, I, th- I think they're there. I think this year they will have some, uh, some NFL games, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's Amazon, but I wouldn't be surprised because I mean I've been Amazon already got NFL games. They had the Thursday night games exclusively. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, but yeah. but I'm saying I, I'm pretty sure Netflix is going to have games this year. Netflix NFL g- games. That's the hell up. Netflix landed exclusive right to stream two NFL games on Christmas Day. Yeah, yes, you're right. The Chiefs against the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Ravens versus the Houston Texans. It's a three-season deal that includes a game on Christmas Day on 2025 and 2026. And then apparently they plan on having more games like the following year. So after this year, they plan on having more games. That's what I just read. Did you see how much they pay for this? No, I have no clue. Because, I mean, like what they pay for, like, is it like $5 billion for for wrestling? I don't know. Tell me. I know it's five. So I know it's in a billion. Five billion? I mean. Oh, no, no, no. They said Netflix will pay 75 million. That's just this year. I mean, it's, it's only two games. That's crazy. 75 million. I mean, but but they, they're looking at the aggregates and all that stuff and the, the, the cost per acquisition and the, them adding ads and all that stuff. Probably one of the main reasons why they're going to add ads. Yeah. Is is they're gonna make they can get paid. And then they're they're lowering the price. Even though you're gonna have ads, they're lowering the price of of the monthly thing. If having the NFL causes them to be able to lower the lower the price. I mean No, it's not it's to. no, it's not just that. It's the ads. The ad having revenue the ad rev, yeah. direct ad revenue. Like that that's that's all it is right there. 
because they have all the markers and all that stuff and they can release the number to the advertisers and like it's gonna be like way better than television ever could direct market to people and that's what i'm saying that's the reason why the price got lowered okay um, okay yes so people are going to be looking at that like oh okay it's only this amount of money a month and i'm i'm used to ads because i watch television so they're not going to mind that, yeah, if, that if, 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 YouTube. if you watch youtube you better be used to ads now because it's gonna be crazy i know and it's like it's like damn man you running four ads on me before i watch this like two minute yeah. video i like y'all is crazy like, yeah i i got the um yeah, I don't have that YouTube package, so I don't know what y'all talking about. But, but oh, I, I thought you said. I, th- I thought he said something else at first. <laughs> we just gonna go fast that. Okay, all right. Hey, hey, on, on the VA, on the VA. Nah, don't be on the me. I looked at the. <laughs> I looked up the um WWE the five billion for ten years, and geez. that sounds cheap though. For I mean, ten years. I mean, the fact that it's ten years. I but at the same time, it's WWE. Don't look at it as wrestling. Look at it as WWE. You have to look at all the revenue that goes into WWE. You have to look at the advertisement. You have to look at the marketing. You have to look at the WWE makes a lot of money. It brings in a lot of money. Now, and negotiating five million for Raw. No, not bi- no, not million billion. Oh, I thought you said million. No, 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 no. I'm like, that's really cheap <laughs> no. right there. Five million could probably get you vice. No, 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 no. This is 10 years, five billion. Because I'm like, uh, they're negotiating with like, they may say like the, well, if we give say five billion, then NFL can be like, look, yes, you just give me 